Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Woo. So, I, uh, I'm uh, making a spatchcock turkey. I'm going to uh, put, some, sorry, I put some green beans on the smoker. I've got a couple sweet potatoes on there also. I'm going to put on there uh, for a souffle later on. i got to make some succotash and some dressing. Uh, I'm going to smoke the, the backbone and uh, the neck and stuff and make a stock so I can make my turkey gravy. That smoke back here is the Traeger. I'm filming this after I've already put all that stuff on. You'll see. Uh, one of my friends, Juan, went to Mexico, went home to Mexico. Brought me some Antigua uh, Reposado. It's pretty. Mm. That's good. That's real good. Got some spice in there. What is that? Is that I feel like I taste a little bit of cinnamon. Mmm, what are they doing here? Gracias, mi amigo Juan. Gracias. This is really good. So, I could just sit around and sip on that. Not all day, of course. But, I could sit around and sip on that. So, that's good. I want to show you how to make everything that I make outside on the Traeger. So, thanks for tuning in to Adventure John. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make all this wonderful, delicious food. Okay, so the first thing I do is I'm gonna spatchcock this thing. The reason we'll do that is uh, I think it cooks a little quicker, a little better, a little more better. And well, I mean, I'm night shift, so I like to get the damn thing cooked. How about that? <laughs> so let's see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here. You got this backbone, this thing has to come out. So all basically all the way from here to here, and some people cut it with scissors. I just cut it with a big chef's knife. Get my out of the way. Just like that. That's beautiful. Yep. I'll use that anyway. And flip it around. I feel like it's half frozen. All right. Do the possums. The giblets and all that crap. Nobody in my family is big on that. You could take and hit this just a little bit right here. I usually flip it over. Put it down. Yep. Perfect. And that is that. I fold the wings under because that's what I do. There you go. And that right there. Spatchcock turkey. Now, butter has been out softening, although it's been outside for a little bit now, so it's starting to feel like it's hardening back up. Uh, 
the turkey. Turkey, turkey. So I was taking, kind of bring the skin up like this. I really like doing this. I just get it up, get that butter all up in there. As such, that butter. I want that butter to melt in there and just be yummy. Delicious. There's more. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a little bit right there. Oh, perfect. All right, that part looks good. Wipe off my hands. So I like the, I like to put olive oil on mine. I'll douse it with some olive oil, and rub that in, just like that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take a little bit of. I love this this company, Killer Hogs. So. Kill our hogs uh, brisket rub, not just for beef. This has got all kinds of stuff in it. Once again, love doing this outside. Think about it. All this is going outside. I'll take a leaf blower to it and clean it up. That looks good. Mm -mm. Did not brine this. You can brine these. Maybe a little better brine, but I didn't brine it. A little bit of black pepper. And just a little bit of paprika. I usually don't cook any chicken or anything without some paprika. You know, give it a little bit of extra flavor and on the skin and it helps it get that beautiful kind of burgundy look that I love when it comes off. Bam, and that is the spatchcock turkey. I know it looked dangerous as hell when I was doing it, but I've done it so much now, it don't matter. Let's get down in there, guys. That looks pretty, okay. All right, so we'll come over here to our Traeger. Get this bad boy crunked crunk, crunk up. All right, so I'm gonna set this on about 275. Should take about two hours to get to 165. All right, as you crank it up, shut this lid. We'll let that get fired up and we'll do it. All right, that's what it says. Igniting. Awesome. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so she's smoking now, so I'm gonna put this turkey on here. Got a smoker right there, boy. Oh my God. Stuff was oh, I might as well put that neck and everything on there too. I get out this damn plastic. Come on, man. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna smoke that right there just a little bit, and then I'll take that and make like a stock. Well, Jonathan. 
Might as well smoke the heart and all that too. Heart and liver. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking like we know what we're doing. Mmm. Thanksgiving. Celebrate Thanksgiving like I used to. You know, we live up in Illinois. We moved away from all our family. And, uh, it's just like me and my wife and my kids. We always eat it. You know, we always cook out, cook everything for Thanksgiving. But, you know, we don't have our family here. Just us, which is great. I mean, that's our family, right? But I guess our, our parents and our, you know, everybody that's got to do with Thanksgiving. Thankful, thankful, thankful anyway, though. All right, guys, so I'm also going to put some sweet potatoes on there, too. Put them in here to the side. Because, uh, that'll work. And because I can. <laughs> yeah, it'll actually, it'll cook slowly, but we'll make that souffle air a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's how I make my smoked green beans. After I get the turkey in the oven or in the smoker, I got that rolling. Then it's time. I take one of these right here, hotel pans. Love it. Then I take, put a little bit of water in it. All right. Then about, uh, probably about a tablespoon of salt. Like that. Then put a little fat. Now you can put some, you can put some uh, bacon in here if you want to. I sometimes I do that. This right here is just some extra virgin olive oil. I like this too. We'll throw that in there. And uh, yes, I'm using my hand, but we're gonna be eating it. Need a little more salt. All right. Now, these are some Del Monte green beans. I'll tell you why I use Del Monte. It's because I like Blue Lake. Um, where I come from, you know, the, the little the community I'm from, we, we use the Blue Lakes a lot. Now, I like White Half Runner and Kentucky Pole Beans and all that too. I think one of them's called Contender. But Blue Lakes is what I always grew. It's, uh, it's actually not a... Uh, a running bean it's a bush bean and and they they don't have as much of the uh string to them like when you're breaking them and you're stringing them they don't have that really that so there you go on that that's why i do that that's why i like blue licks but they're still so more tender now i like to put a whole onion in there so i don't cut it up because i usually eat this whole onion on my plate I don't want to eat it, so. I'm right, going to peel it off. For those of you who don't know how to do that, I mean, it's not that big a deal. I usually just cut the ends off the onion, and then I make a slice. So I cut the ends off, then I make a slice, and I just peel, the, peel it off. And I don't have that problem where some people have where their eyes water. That's a yellow onion. I feel like most people have more problems with the white onions. I don't have that problem. I don't know. Is it fair, unfair? Don't know. But I don't. Now I'm just going to slide this in the smoker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just slide that right there and push that sweet potatoes back. A no big thing. Yep. Burger cooking. Sounding good. Sounding delicious. Mm. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, all right. So here we go. So I'm gonna take, turn this on, turn it on high, put a little salt in it, gotta season it. All right, so that's good. Then we'll grab my tongs. Remember how we put that right there, backbone? I 
put that there. Put the turkey neck. Put all that in there. Yep. I'm gonna cook that right there up. I'm gonna make my turkey stock with that. I'm gonna throw an onion in there too, cause I can. Yes, I have this electric uh, induction cooktop out here at my outdoor kitchen. I love it. It works great. I bought it for my daughter. She never used it. Kept it in the drawer in her kitchen. So I took it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I've got this right here. Um, I got the neck bone. Got the backbone. Uh, onion, some salt. You're right. I just put a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm going to make some turkey stock, and that's what I'm going to make my gravy with here in a little bit. All right, stay tuned. It's all starting to come together. I saw my wife had some uh, bread in there in the oven proofing. Mmm, this is going to be delicious. All right. All right, you see that turkey? All right. We got a little butter over here, milk. All I've been doing is I've been taking that melted butter. And basting that turkey with it. We'll make that skin good and crispy. Nice, beautiful color to it. This will be tasty. There right now, I oh, got out there right now. By God, that right there is a good turkey. That's a good looking turkey. I right, set it back on my grill. Let it keep melting. Mm. Oh, that would make me look good. Oh, that would make me look good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh man. Oh man. You ready for this? Dun 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 Oh man. That right there is a thing of turkey. I just made it with butter. Butter. Woo, look at them green beans in there in my smoker. Woo! Damn, it's going to be good. There's some sweet potatoes back here too smoking. I don't know if you can see them, but they back here in the back. Man! You know I ain't playing. This is good stuff right y'all. All right, so guys, turkey is at 166 degrees. Hey, look at this right here. Oh, this is that turkey. Good. Oh man. There's sweet potatoes. Oh my god. These green beans are amazing. Mm. Life is good. Bola, butter on them rolls. Woo, Jesus Christ. Our Latter-day Saints. Woo. We're picking to have a good meal. Pray to the Lord. Okay. Okay, so here is the gravy. We got a little flour on the stove. I don't know what they were making here, but that's fine. We got to get this butter melted so we can put a little flour in it to make the turkey gravy. See it right there? So I smoked the backbone and the turkey neck and the gizzard and the heart. Now I'm melting some butter up. See if I can make this a little bit better. There we go. That flour is something they just made. Mmm. Look at this right here. 
We gotta make a video. Everybody wants to know what we eat. I know, right? Well, they see me, I'm so fat. And they're like, what's he eating? Look at this butter. This butter's almost damn melted. Now, we're gonna put a little bit of, we're gonna make a roux. A little bit of flour there. There we go. That's called a roux. I gotta taste it, make sure it tastes okay. Yep, tastes like flour and butter. If you want this to cook a little bit, let's put it on. Let's put it on high. Well, eight. So, we got butter, we got some flour. Now we're going to start adding in the turkey stock. All that wonderfulness from the turkey. I'm going to go make it up to high. Back on this, that's on it. Look at that gravy, thickening it up so beautifully. So you wanna cook it till it's like, you know, so you don't have any flour flavor. We're gonna turn this off. Oh, that's delicious. They use salted butter, by the way. Oh, why not? You can put like pieces of turkey meat in there. Yeah. That was turkey heart. All right, guys, that's delicious. Look at all this right here. We got turkey gravy. Ooh, we got green beans smoked. This beautiful turkey. Look at all that butter in that mashed potatoes. That's America right there. Dressing, I don't know what this is. It looks like butter. Carrots, cranberry sauce, turkey, rolls, gravy, gravy. That's a sweet potato. Wonderful. All right, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. That's all you there got. goes the mashed potatoes right here. These, so aren't, I got, these aren't blue potatoes. I got some succotash. We got some dark meat turkey. I don't like white meat. I don't like dark meat. I got cranberry sauce. We got some carrots. The carrots look good. Mmm, delicious. Succotash looks good. Baby. Thank you. All right. Love, peace, chicken grease. Thank you. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Bye.